so I've got a new segment. It's called, Oh Man, I Made People Mad on the Internet Again. Does that sound good? I think that sounds great, and we should have plenty of, uh, of things to talk I'm about. I'm finding out. Case. That's one of my spiritual gifts. That's one of my love languages. It's the sixth secret love language, making people mad on the internet. Here's what I posted. Guys, I'm... So much drama. So much drama. Here's what I wrote. One time, my wife and I went to see a romantic comedy movie. The movie was tragic, funny, and charming, about as good as the genre can be. Um, what w- It was the movie, just like no secrets. It was the... Um, they, they go to the jazz clubs. Oh, uh, La La, La, La Land. Land. La La Land. Ugh. I loved it. I loved it. Not me. I thought it was great. Um... And as we walked out of La La Land, like they're dancing the whole movie in this great jazz and they're just having all these moments in the jazz clubs and it's all smoky and dark and they're dancing and falling in love and then it ends in the only way it could end. Spoiler alert, terribly. It's so good. It's so good. Back to my post. Back at the car, I had a thought. I just paid two Hollywood actors to pretend to be in love, to go dancing together, to hang out in jazz clubs and pretend to live happily ever after. Why hadn't I just taken my wife dancing? I paid someone else to do it for me. May I never outsource my marriage to strangers and screens again. Some of you were super mean on the internet. Going to the movies is fine. You're such a loser, Deloney. Oh my gosh, you're always lecturing us about... Number one. I'm not a big fan of Xanax, but y'all should take a bunch. Number two, I know the movies are fine. I like watching movies. I'm a huge movie nerd. I love it. And I have found myself and the culture with, with, uh, with which I live in, we are the outsourced generation. We outsource everything. We outsource our relationships. We outsource our work. We outsource our chores at home. We outsource work on our cars. We outsource our food delivery. We outsource everything. And it occurred to me, huh? I probably talked about it on the show and this is, I'm just thinking about it. It's just, just now. So Kelly, you may have to edit this out. This idea of, of soulmates, star-crossed lovers, right? And I think I've mentioned on the show That whole idea of soulmates comes from two 13-year-olds who wanted to hook up and they ended up secretly getting married and then died in a murder-suicide plot, Romeo and Juliet. That's how we, that's the standard we hold up to the most romantic story ever told. It's not, it was two idiotic teenagers who died. It's not romance at all, not even close to romance. It's two idiotic teenagers who didn't have TikTok. It probably would have saved everybody a bunch of trouble. And then I think of my grandparents who were married 70 something years and they got married super young. And then my granddad went to world war two and then they came back and they raised four kids. The idea of a soulmate, what in the, what in the world? Nonsense. And then after 50 years, 60 years, 70 years of marriage, they're both just sitting in chairs going, what? Huh? Huh? Then my granddad passed away. And my grandmother made several comments to how like her body didn't work. Because a part of her body had left. And so I realized over 70 years they became soulmates because they lived in the trenches together and they did life together and they did the Vietnam War together, worried about their boys getting taken off to war. They did recessions together. They did, we don't have enough money for food. They did kids getting in trouble. They did grandkids passing away. They did all that together. And over time, because they didn't outsource their relationships, if they were going to have joy, they weren't going to pay somebody else to do it because they didn't have that kind of money. They had to go dancing. They had to go for a walk and hold hands. They had to figure it out. And I walked out of that movie and thought, I, I, few places in the world make me happier than a, than a jazz club. I love them. I love the pianist. I love the music. I love the mad jazz. And I'm like, what are y'all doing? And my brain starts to have a minor epileptic, epileptic episode. Like, I love it. 
I like the blue lights. I like the whole thing. I just paid $40 or whatever it costs to go to the movies now for somebody else to do that for me. And me and my wife just sat there eating popcorn and Twizzlers, and then we just went home. I'm kind of done with that. Kind of done with it. At the end of my life, I want there not to be much tread left on the tires, and I don't want to butt cheek imprints in my couch. I want to have lived my life, not paid somebody else to live it for me. And that comes to my parenting, that comes to romance, that comes to adventures, that comes to all of it. And I remember when we lived downtown Nashville, we had no backyard. Hank and I would go on something we called adventure walks. He was really young. He was uh, whatever, uh, eight or nine. And we would collect odd, weird things in alleys. It was wild. Little nuts and bolts and sticks and metal pieces and all stuff. I'd be like, yeah, you probably don't want to touch that. Let's don't touch that. Or I'd cover it up with leaves because I was like, whoa. But we went searching for adventure and we often found it. Or we'd spend an hour chasing one lizard around it. Like we just went and found adventure. Here's my point. Stop outsourcing your life. Guys, take her dancing. I don't dance. Shut up and take her dancing. Wives, go to that dumb concert. Just go. Just go. Even if you're like, it's too loud. Get earplugs. Just go. Listen to the music on on the way to work when you're by yourself. I've been practicing listening to country music, so my son will love me a little bit more. And now I kind of like some of it. That's a secret. If you tell anybody, I'm going to call you a liar. At the end of the day, stop outsourcing your life, whatever that looks like for you. Go get your own groceries. If you can, do your laundry. Don't just call Jeff Bezos for everything. Actually make a list and go to Home Depot and shake hands with one of those old guys. They're awesome. Stop outsourcing your life. Build your own treehouse. Stop outsourcing your life.